man. Nah, man. So we got, you know, something a little bit more serious going on in the news. You all, I don't know if you all familiar with it. What you do on the radio, you might have heard of it. You know, you've been busy producing, so I don't know if it's like, you know, bypassed you. But have you all heard of this uh, sextortion? You know, it's a thing where, you know, uh, people are, you know, threatening people to publish their, you know, information that they've been intimately sending between each other. So, you know, it's been teenagers, you know, particularly sending, you know, pictures to one another. And well, they think they're sending them to one another, yeah. but it's actually somebody out in of the Nigeria. Country. Yeah, oh, it's that's somebody rough. hacked an account. Yeah, uh, and this and they, person starts, you know, extorting them, you know, threatening them to tell expose mama, these pictures, you know, and everything like that. School. We gonna we gonna go with you first, man. What what do you think about you know this uh, sextortion? Um, you gee, know, you ever been caught in a sextortion case before, <laughs> G? And tell the truth, <laughs> ashamed the devil. <laughs> you know, uh, I mean, listen. I I have been wise enough to kind of stay away from that myself. Okay. Now, whatever comes to my phone, <laughs> I ain't gonna, you know, at the end of the day, mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I ain't just anybody out here. So, yeah, yeah, um, you know, so you gotta be wise. But, but no, I mean, I think it's crazy. Like, my, my thing is, like, with that, it, it it's always been lost on me how people will send pictures just, you know, as my, as my grandma used to say, all willy nilly. Man. Like, if you're in a relationship or y'all in a certain space, you know, do your thing. But, like, uh, I need, you know, in my life, you know, and I, you'll mm-hmm. remember this. Y'all might not to be too far from my age. You know, Inspector Gadget, mm-hmm. he used to get a message that would, that would self-destruct. self-destruct. Mm. <laughs> That's the kind of energy I need yeah, for show, any of that show. kind of stuff. But it's crazy, man, because the sad part is a lot of kids are in that space right Mm -hmm. and like i knew of a situation with a girl one time and she was at the point of getting ready to kill herself Mm -hmm. from somebody this boy sending a video out Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and it's like yeah we all been there before but it's it's some new kind of kids man yeah man i just what you think my kids kids man it they live in a different space even when i think about when i was in high school like that was the beginning. I think my freshman year, maybe the the next tail with the blue, hey. the blue cover on it that had the camera. That the was I-90? like that I-90? was like the yeah. Was that, that I-90? Was like, I think that might have been my junior my junior year maybe. So like the the access that they have, right? The internet being on phone and then parents not just standing their ground. Right. I think is a problem um, when you're talking about parents not say, saying, I'm not getting you a cell phone because you're not ready. Mm-hmm. No, you're not going to have a TikTok. Mm-hmm. No, you're not. I mean, do really think about it. Do you want your kids exposed to the stuff that you be seeing on TikTok? And that's what they could be exposed to. And the crazy part is we talk junk about Kanye West for him standing his ground with Northwest about having a TikTok. Yeah, right, but sure. I mean, with, as a man who just had a daughter, my daughter's three years old and I look at the world totally different than I did three years ago, right? Mm-hmm. And my daughter will not have a phone, a beeper, or nothing until she's 47 years old in my house <laughs> because I refuse to let the devil creep in through technology. <clears throat> well, so, you know, so, Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I'm you sorry. go ahead. I, I just I want to kind of interject, and this is something you know we all have a faith based background or whatever. Mm-hmm. But this is nothing outside of what the word says, because the word says the generations get wiser, right? Mm-hmm. Now, 50 years ago, that may have had a different meaning because they didn't have nothing. Mm-hmm. You know, back then, the generation is getting wiser was like somebody told you something you wasn't supposed to know. Mm-hmm. These kids can tell us everything now. Yeah. And this, you know, technology you to use the shit. has put them in that space to have the one up on us. You're mm-hmm. Like, okay, yeah, mm-hmm. you know, I blame the internet. No, no, no I, I agree, I agree. <laughs> and you know, for for me, I look at it. Um, it seemed like adults are starting to act like children on social media. Man, you know, mm-hmm. when you see a, a, a infant, you know, child learning to crawl or walk. For whatever reason, they don't like to keep their clothes on, you right. know. And that's the mm-hmm. same with women, you know. Mm-hmm. You open it up, like you said, you know, this is not like really safeguarded for children. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You open up uh, your social media, you could be with your your wife, you know, your spouse, whatever, and you got women showing all they everything, you know what I mean? dog. And it's everything. just kind of childish, Bro. you know what I mean? I get it. People are getting paid for or uh, sponsored by you know different mm-hmm. things, but it's it's like you know, it's kids out there that got those and. They can't be, you know, guarded from it. No. Uh, Sad thing about this time and space, like we said before on a different episode, it's more stuck to the parent 
mm-hmm. having to have control over what the child is watching. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, man, parenting is your job. Right. It's not the internet's job to parent your child. Mm-hmm. It's your job. So parents have to, you know, you got to step in a little bit more nowadays. Parents though. got lazy. Parents got lazy, though, because it's easy for me if I got stuff to do, uh, you know, and I got my kid with me. It's easier for me to put an iPad in front of them, give them my cell phone, and they just do whatever they're going to do instead of actually bring them. If I'm sitting on a keyboard playing, you know, mm-hmm. hey, have my kid sitting right there. Mm-hmm. Learn something. Yeah, you know, for sure. Like we of, used to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. You, sit at, you would sit at the drums and watch, but now you give them the iPad and you say, hey, but then it comes to the fact, like like he said, it's a lot of teenagers that's going through this extortion, mm-hmm. man, mm-hmm. because their their frontal cortex is not fully hardened yet Absolutely. to the point to where they don't even really understand the person that you texting on the other side is in Nigeria, yep. sitting here waiting. He's already already got all of your friends added to his page as his friend mm-hmm. and as soon as you don't send him the 50 dollars, he's sending this picture to everybody that's already accepted him as a friend right. mm-hmm. because their goal is to hustle mm-hmm. they yep. trying to feed their family a yep. hundred american dollars over there you a king yep. yeah. and if you can get a rich person 500 dollars right or change your life <laughs> off one scam in nigeria so we have to hold ourselves a little bit more accountable as parents, you know, to kind of step in and watch what your kids are doing. No, we can't tell them. I mean, you can tell them not to have Instagram and Facebook, but at the end of the day, bro, they're going to do what they want oh, to do. Look, hold on. I'm going I'm to I'm help you out. My 10-year-old son. Yeah. No, you that. can't have a No, you can't yeah. have a TikTok. No, you can't have Instagram. Oh, no, this Negro, he's smart as a whip, dog. Did the same thing. Smart mm. as a whip. Oh, he went and created new emails. All Under all of, what, yeah. Oh, this <laughs> is something that I didn't even know so how to do when I was I went a kid. through the same thing with my children, yeah. which you know you've been yeah. a part of me raising. For sure. Um, literally, dude, when I, I used to tell my kids, no Facebook, no all of that. So once I noticed that they were still doing it, I can t- I wanted to approach it a different way. So what I did was went ahead and said, okay, we're going to do this, but I'm going to date a name. I'm going to do all the things, mm-hmm. and we're going to be friends, and I'm going to run the page, and yeah. we're both going to run it until you get a certain age. For sure. Because then I can monitor it at my own speed. For sure. Because instead of my kids lying to me, telling me that they don't have the shit, yeah. and then I go and find a video that's on my damn search thing <laughs> out of nowhere. <laughs> right. yeah. Like, what the hell is my son doing yeah. on there? Who put this video up there? Then yeah. it's a weird name. Uh, <laughs> son of TikTok or some weird shit. Because they don't, they can't, they don't feel comfortable or safe enough to tell you. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because they know whatever, right? So I approached it differently. I said, okay, we're gonna do it together, so I can kind of monitor. I've, like I said in a different episode, I've never been the type of father who goes through my kids' phones. I'm just not. Yeah. A, I don't want to see that shit because right. uh, that's child rah 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 rah, <laughs> and I don't want none of no parts of that churin peppercorn pepperonis. Right? <laughs> Keep that to yourself, <laughs> little brothers. But boys will be boys. I got three boys. My son turns 17 tomorrow. I got another one that's turning 19, another one that's turning 11. Mm. At all the majors I was fucking. Oh, man. Every one of the majors I was fucking. Me. So, it's you know what I'm saying? I, I got to understand, like, they're going to be men and they're going to do what they're going to do. But I have to be a father. Yeah. And be a part of what's happening. Yeah. I can't. Tell you, I mean, it's not gonna happen in this world, bro. They'll make it even them kids smarter than us. They, like you said, they'll teach you how to use Microsoft everything. Yep, Thanks. for sure. I taught my mom the computer. I taught my mom Excel. I taught my mom PowerPoint. Me. So my kids is learning shit at a whole different rate than when yep. I'm 40. Mm-hmm. So we have to, as parents, tighten up. Right. For you know sure. what I'm saying? So you don't see your daughter titties on the internet. T Man, what you got? 